Hey guys, so today I'm reviewing the Rochelle Goyle Nautical Ghouls Street Wrecked and she is really cool. I love everything about her and she has a lot of cool details on her. She might be the most detailed Street Wrecked doll I have right now and I love her for that. So here is her packaging. If you want me to go in detail with the packaging, make sure to watch my Claudine Street Wrecked review and my Dracula Street Wrecked review. Here is Rochelle's gorgeous artwork. And you can see her pet, Ro. I'm glad her pet is back. And you can see nautical ghouls right there, a treasure chest, and a Monster High flag with the Monster High pirate logo. Then on the back, you can see um, the synopsis of Shriek Wrecked. Rochelle again in her gorgeous artwork, and who's also available, which is Laguna and Draculara. Laguna is very pretty. I love her so much. I can't wait to get her. So I'm going to go over her accessories first. I'll just get that out of the way. Here is Ro. And Ro is actually the exact same, just a tad lighter. And the eyes aren't darkened, it, are, are darker on the other one. I don't really have her right now, but I might post a comparison with her on Instagram. So make sure to follow me on there. Links down below. And here is her purse, which she cannot hold on to. I have um, actually made this review a couple of times, and I had to like delete them all because she kept dropping her purse during the video. But here is her gold purse, and you can see like an octopus right there with hard eyes. It's so cute, and all the tentacles, and you can actually open it. Look at that. It's so cool. Now onto this gorgeous doll. I don't even know where to begin. She has so much going on. Um, I guess I'll start with her hair. So Rochelle's hair is the same pink and the teal. She has bangs and then she has a ponytail. But she has this huge headband that has like a ship being attacked by an octopus or like a kraken or something. It's so cool. You can see the ship and all the tentacles. And then she has an earring, which is gold, and it is a tentacle. Actually, no, it's just like a gold earring. She only has one. Then for the back of her hair, it's kind of in a ponytail, and then there's another tie right here. And it is so cute. It is a tentacle bow. I love it so much. Then for her face, she has this eye patch, which wraps around her whole head. Look at that. Yeah. And it is this translucent teal color. Let me lift up this eye patch so you could see her makeup. She is a tad bit wonky, but it's something I could have really like looked through in the box, but that's her face. She looks a lot different. She looks kind of like really worried or something. She has different a different eye color now. It's kind of like an orangey color. She has teal eyeshadow and pink lipstick. Um, she has this little scarf which has some teal polka dots on it. And her outfit is a top, a skirt, a belt, so it's like multiple layers. The top, which I love, is ruffled right here. It's very piratey. And it's teal and white. And it has gold trim up here. Then um, she has her wings, of course. They're the same. They still can come off and everything. She has this belt that looks like rope and it's gold and it has an anchor. She has gloves that match the tentacles up here, match her boots, and match the boat on the back. And they're very cute. They have um, cuffs and look, they're very like cute. I love them. I love them. I love them. For her skirt, it's very layered. Um, it has patterns of, I don't even know what the patterns are, just probably octopus. and. It says Monster High on her skirt. Then she has another layer, which are probably tentacles again. And with that layer, there's ruffle at the bottom with gold sparkles. Then her boots are really, really cool. Her boots are like the same type of brown as her headband, gloves, and bow. And they have kind of like um, molded on like rope, an anchor, stars, and so cool. But what's really cool about these boots is the side of them. On the side, you could see like this little ghoul on it holding the steering wheel of the pirate ship. 
and it is so cool. That detail is so amazing. And at the bottom is kind of like a platform, and it's very like pirate chesty. It's so cool. Like the detail on these boots, like if you have to get it for one reason, it's the accessories because they're amazing. So I want to do a comparison of her with the older shell. She's not wearing any clothes because I'm currently using her dress, but I'm just doing a face comparison. I have to move this school's eye patch up. I'll try to do it the best that I can. Look at that. I don't know. I don't think I can. But there are a lot of differences if I can eventually do this. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, can you guys see? Okay, yeah. That's good. The main differences are this one's very dramatic, the original Rochelle Goyle, and the new one has like a sweet younger face. The eyebrows are different. Um, she has more, um, the new one has more eyelashes, and of course the new eye color on her. I kind of prefer the old eye color because I love the pink, and yeah, it's not really focusing, but you can tell the main difference. The eyes are a lot rounder. She's more cartoonish, and yeah, I I I like the new one. I don't hate her. But this is the first time that I prefer the old one as to the new one. But of course, um, the new ones have the new body, which are more Ever After High-ish. They're not exactly like Ever After High, but I love their bodies a lot more than the new ones. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. My next review is on Katrine the Mew, and I'm so excited because she might be my favorite treat wreck so far. And thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you all soon.